welcome to the unspoken truth podcast show this your boy jb aka spoken and everybody already know i don't say who the special guest is because they can say who they are themselves so without no further ado tell everybody who you are my brother oh this your boy harv diesel representing for the rack runners fitness apparel got all your workout clothes plans all that good stuff you know that's what it is Hey, man, so y'all don't really know what's going on, man. You, you know, y'all probably looking like, man, who is this dude, man? You know what I'm saying? Who this nigga sitting back with that fly-ass shirt on, you know what I'm saying? Looking all buff and shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, this is my brother, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, like this is my A1. You feel me? Like, um, we met, like, what, eight, when ten years ago? Eight years ago? Two thousand, what, nine? Yeah, yeah, 2009. Yeah, something, and, uh, something, something. yeah, ten years ago, about 10, 11 years. You know what I'm saying? But... But nah, man, it's my brother, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, like when I first started getting into uh, dropping content online, this was the first person to tell me, like, hey, man, it's about time to crank up, bro. Like, crank up. And this person right here, uh, he the one that keep me on my toes, man. Like, uh, through ups and downs and all the other stuff, man, it's my dog. So, uh Y'all, y'all be careful about what y'all say in the comments, bro. Cause it, I'm, I, it, I, I turn the fuck up. You feel me about about my brother right here, man. So, uh, what's hey, man? I got 18 questions, man. All right, you ready, bro? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, here it goes. Who is Kyle Harvey, and what is Right Runners? Who is Kyle Harvey, man? I'm just a a family man. You know what I'm saying? And uh, Rack Runners, you know, it's a brand for the people. It's a, it's, I really like to label it as the first urban brand of workout clothing. You know, I feel like there ain't been no brand that really spoke to the urban community. I'm talking about like hip hop, R&B, people that, that love, love to rock Jordans and love to rock fly stuff. Hmm. We haven't really had nobody speak for us within, you know, having gym clothes. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that shirt you got on, that shit fly as hell now. It, oh, right. oh damn man he wearing right runners uh what is that the bear wearing, wearing right runners yeah yeah oh yeah you already know that hey yeah. man he designed all his stuff like straight up you know what i'm saying like everything that you see when y'all go to his website everything that you see not everything is designed by him but the majority of it is designed by right, him right and he good good 95 percent you know 95%. what i'm saying I, but you know i do uh send out stuff to other artists but you know, at the end of the day, I give them an idea of what I want, you know, and it's usually stuff that I just don't feel like drawing myself. So mm -hmm. I'll, I'll be like, well, such and such could probably do this better. So I'll hire a graphic designer or whatever to, to bring my vision to life. Sometimes I may go back and tweak a few things, but you know, for the most part, you know, I try to let my artists do their thing too. So what made you start like designing your own stuff? And, Cause you also print your own stuff as well, if you feel like it. <laughs> right, that's your right. option but what made you get into that because a lot of people will sit back and say man i ain't trying to get it all that's too much work you know what i mean I, if i gotta print and do all this i mean i'm just trying to just pay with the person i'm trying to pay the person and get out my face so what made um, you get into that uh at first it was it was kind of it was really an accident how the whole brand started for real like i just wanted i wanted a logo you know what i'm saying and i was just like i want something to represent me at first, so that was kind of how it started. And then I just threw it up on Facebook, like, yo, I, you know, look at my new joint, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, they made me order 12 shirts because I was going through a little distro and whatnot at the time. They made me order 12 shirts, so I got them all in my size, you know what I mean? Like not even being a businessman or thinking for it like that, you know, I was just thinking, you know, this is what I want to rock for me, you know what I'm saying? And then I posted it up on Facebook and everybody was rocking with it. So I'm like, damn, you know, this is wild. You know, so fast forward like two years, I just kept rocking with that that same uh, initial logo. And then I finally, I got into drawing. And once I got back into drawing, cause I used to when I was a kid, you know what I'm saying? Once I got into it and figured out a niche that I really wanted to hit, uh, you know, a lane, a target of really what made me uh, feel happy. And you know what I'm saying? I just, I seen a void, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And that's, that's really what made me just start drawing and going crazy with it. Hey man, hey man, that's a gift right there, man. Cause I don't, you know, that drawing. When it comes to that drawing, boy, that's a whole nother thing right there, for real. <laughs> right, digital for, drawing is a whole nother piece. For people to respect your drawing, though, like that's how you know you got one, for real. Right. All right. right. Here you go. 
Give us a story of the worst whooping you've ever gotten in your life. And my daddy broke a paddle on my ass. I'm talking about one of, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? One of them big ass boards. You know what I'm oh, saying? They Lord. had a little handle on there. You know, like like a skillet or some shit. They had a skillet handle on that joint. You know what I'm saying? That joint was like this thick, and that motherfucker must have whacked my shit, bro. <laughs> hey, bro, that whole motherfucking just just split. I'm like, man, this is what crazy. you do. I don't even remember. Damn, I that's crazy. you know what? I, it might have been a time like uh, we got, we had this little creek over by my house and whatnot, you know, and and at this creek, it was like a little spot where you could you could jump over to get to another part of the creek. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. It was like, oh yeah, just go ahead and jump. You can make it. So I jumped over that motherfucker. Oh, this nigga crazy. And, and foot must have got caught up in that bitch and fell straight up into that bitch. Came home, pants all wet and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? You got a, you got a wolf. Rest of history. Yeah. Damn. And that was back in the days where, you know, you would go down the street and everybody would be whooping your ass. You know what I'm saying? Nigga. <laughs> you won't just get a ass whooping from your parents. The first person that see you, they like, what's going on? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What y'all doing? This nigga got his ass toe up and got a, a paddle broken on him Nick, for, your, for, your, for your worst whooping. And my worst whooping was with a broom and that bitch broke on me. Yeah. That shit nah, crazy, nah. nigga. Yeah, all right. All right. Here you go. <laughs> Moving on to the next one. What has the military done for your life, and has there ever been a time you questioned enlisting? Um, military, it taught me, it taught me, you know, how to organize stuff. Yeah. You know, they they pretty good at organizing stuff and using a, a chain of a working chain. You know what I'm saying? Like nothing, nothing really works with 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 the, with the loose chain. You know what I'm saying? You got to bring everything and everybody up to your speed. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And and not not really look back. You know what I'm saying? Make a decision and stand on it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. There there's there's times where I question it too, question and listening. Cause I'm like, you know, I could have been I could have done well without it. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. But a lot of the relationships and stuff I made all globally, like it's unmatched, you know, by being in the military for real. Mm. Hmm. And has there ever been a time you question and listen? Um, shit, it's a lot of times you question it. You know what I'm saying? When you when you down in the trenches doing some bullshit, it's a lot of times you question it. A lot of times, man. Damn, he said you are gonna get paid, but you are gonna do some bullshit. You Damn. know what I'm saying? You are gonna do some bullshit. Hey, man! Shout out to all the soldiers out there, man. Much love, man. Yeah. All right. Has there ever been a time you question your faith in God? Um, uh, and your faith being t from, from your faith being tested. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I would say that you know it was a it was a real low point in my life where I tested like uh just just the faith and I started uh diving into other religions and whatnot. But then like an event happened, you know what I'm saying, and it just it just completely shifted my mind back where you know I felt like it needed to be. Yeah, 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 hell yeah, man. Much love on that, man, for real. All right. How old were you when you felt your your kids were like the driving force, like, hey, man, I got to get on my junk and really go hard in the paint right now? Um, I would say almost immediately, like when uh, my, my kid's mom had got pregnant, but then like the with the with my second son, I really say like it was really a changing point in my life. Like that was really like where I was just like, all right, man, I got like I got like two. Like now nah, it, it's really time to just just get up on this horse and just ride this drink. You yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? yeah, 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 man. Much love on that, man. For real, for real. All right. All right, here we go. What brings you peace and what will happen if you don't get that peace? Um just just being a being in a place where I can just be creative, being mm. in a place where I can just, you know, just just have my own space. You know what I'm saying? So like sometimes I might come down to the movie theater room. Sometimes I might hop on a <laughs> video game. Sometimes I might draw. You know what I'm saying? I might study, you know, history or whatever I want to. You know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. that's that's peace. If I can get like 30 to 30 to 60 minutes of my own time, the gym give me peace. Yeah. All right. Yeah. What would happen if you don't get it? I don't know. I take it. I demand it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you got, For real. To. you got to. 
Dead ass. I mean, that's one thing. Like, if it's one thing I ever learned from Cat Williams is put your star player first. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's all about your star player. And just like I told you when you went to L.A., you yeah. know what I'm saying? When you moved out there and everybody was everybody was there and around when, you know, yeah. shit was just like climbing and all the way up. I was like, man, you got to take care of you. You got to make sure that you straight because it, yeah. if the ship sink, everybody on that motherfucker sink. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And yeah. you was the ship, you yeah. know, just like I know I'm the ship. So yeah. if I sink, shit going to go down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, man. That was a good one. All right. I had a conversation with you probably like a year ago probably two and it was about water i don't know if you remember this yeah 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 when you said don't drink too much water well i was saying i was saying everybody yeah everybody don't need the same amount of water i was like well like a gallon may be good for one person a day but it may not be the thing that everybody needs you know what i'm saying Yeah, yeah yeah so 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 is there such thing as drinking too much water yeah, yeah, you can drink too much water. But more, majority of people won't get to that point, though. <laughs> Damn, for real? Right. So what what are, what are the consequences for drinking too much water? You're probably drowned from the inside. Damn, for real? Yeah, yeah. I mean, wow. you'll, start, you'll start peeing out a, a whole bunch of nutrients that you need, stuff like that. That will happen? Yeah, yeah. Damn. Yeah. I ain't know that. Then you can drown from the insides? <laughs> bro, you for real? Oh no, I'm bullshitting, but <laughs> <laughs> But you lying or you for real? <laughs> no, I'm just playing. I don't know. That that shit might be true. I don't know. I would have to really look into that. Cause I ain't never really tested that theory of trying to drink too much water. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? At the most, I think no, at the most I think that you'll really probably just be on, you know, you'll probably be hitting the bathroom all day. You oh, know okay. what I'm saying? But before before you get to that point, you'll probably get tired of drinking water. Yeah, I was thinking that something probably would flood out, though. At least something. Oh, the nutrients definitely going to flood out. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Hard diesel. Yes, sir. The corona, man. Yeah. That rona, bro, you know, the world. <laughs> over here talking about that rona, you feel me, dog? And um, I just want to see, I just, I just want to hear what you got to say about that rona, bro. Uh, I actually hate calling it that, but that rona, bro. Yeah, yo, you know, black folks gotta gotta give everything a nickname. So you know, it is what it is. It don't matter if it's the best or the worst of things. Oh, 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 oh! Before you answer the question, I got a, I got a, I got a question in front of that. Do you feel like Corona beer um, sales went down? Yeah, definitely. You think definitely. It, you think it's gonna be the same? Uh, what? Uh, do I think it'll come back? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it'll come back. I mean, we just in that social media era where people just, they don't really think for themselves, you know what I'm saying? They get on social media and they see whatever, whoever's saying and whatever theories is going on and they just run with it, you know what I'm saying? And Corona is definitely, it's a serious thing, but it ain't serious enough for what's going on, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Like with the, with, you know, shutting every single thing down, you know, because at the end of the day, we could all still end up getting it, you know, but it is what it is. At the end of the day, it, you know, it's, it's like the flu with an extra, extra cough. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I, I know. Yeah, I know people with it. You know what I'm saying? And um, yeah, I got patience with it, uh, you know, and I know people who got people that, that died from it, too. You know, so I'm not saying it's not a serious, serious thing, but it's one of those things where the people who are dying are those people who already got a whole bunch of factors that they was probably on their way out sooner or later anyways. And this would just happen to be that thing to tip the scale. You know what mm. I'm saying? Mm. Right. So it's it's a lot of older people above like 65 years old who already got a lot of conditions, you know what I'm saying, where they already sick, they might be bedridden or, or whatever. And, you know, it, it really just put them over. Yeah, 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 man. It's a, uh, it's a lot going on out here with this yeah. coronavirus stuff. Are you one of the people that wear masks? Uh, no. Nah, when I go to work, yeah, but no, nah, not not outside. No. Nah. Okay, okay, okay. You don't wear gloves and none of that stuff when you go to the store. No, nah, not outside. I mean, I make sure I wash my hands, and you know, I, I don't, I don't really be around people like that, anyways. You know, not not too close like that, especially yeah. not out in public. 
how long you think it's going to be until it's all over? Because my predictions is <laughs> I don't think it's going to be 100%. I don't ever think it's going to be ever 100% over. But I do think it's going to probably kind of die down like, like, I mean, die down for real, like next year, early next year or mid next year. That's a possibility. I, I predict August, September. Oh, next year? Or no, this year. This, this year? year? Yeah, that, that's my prediction, you know, um, because the cases are, are going down. It's slowing down a lot since everybody, you know, the world's kind of slowing down and seeing like, man, like everything really shut down. Like, wait, what's going on? You know what I'm saying? Everybody kind of forced to do, get out of their comfort zone right now and, and do something different. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because it's a lot of people out here hurting, bro. Like, yeah. a lot of people out here hurting. Yeah, uh, I feel for the people who, who can't work, that need that paycheck, that can't pay their rent. For pay, real, bro. You know what I'm saying? I feel for everybody. Bro, for real, bro. It's like people on the front line. Uh, all the waiters, waitresses, um, people that just got jobs, even from independent, just being an independent contractor, uh, you know, that 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 alone, like people, it's just very, very hard for folks out here. So much right. love to everybody out there. Uh, prayers up. And, um, Most you know, you know, that's just life and the story of what's, what's going on with that Rona. Right, right. Most deaf. And I feel like, you know, I feel like this is the perfect time, especially for like creatives and people that do stuff on the internet and really market themselves. But this is, mm -hmm. this is the perfect time to just uh, buckle down and grind. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody's paying attention to Facebook, everybody paying attention to Instagram. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So this is the perfect time to be out there pushing whatever message you got, trying yeah. to get more fans and more people in tune with your message. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And like for my gym goers, like, no, nah, y'all can't go to the gyms, but you know, you can, you can use your body weight. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You can hit these parks, you can get out on these trails and run, you know what I'm saying? So it's always options. It's just like, everybody is so used to having circumstances go in whatever direction they want to, when yeah. they ain't got those options, they, they take it as a loss. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Don't take it, don't take it as a loss. Like you gotta, you know, what, when I came up, with fitness, you know what I'm saying? I was in the trenches with it. I learned how to, you know, uh, work out from like workout videos and then it, it graduated to, you know, getting on the Rough Riders Thug workout, the bartenders and learning how to go out to the parks and get in work on them bars. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Then I got into running and I got into different things. So I have a, a wide uh, scope of like how I can work out. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? You just need to, you need to broaden your scope you need to, you know, sit down and really, really uh, hone some new skills. You know what mm. I'm saying? And then everybody's touchable right now. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like <laughs> whatever type of people you ever been wanting to work with right now is the perfect time to work with them because they all bored. Mm. You know what I'm saying? They whole thing switched over. So they more in tune with, with they fans and what, what's going on. You know what I'm saying? So if, if you out there and you got, you know, somebody that you've been wanting to work with or somebody you want to get in tune with, it's the perfect time to get in tune with them because they, they paying attention. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Dead up. Dead so up, man. Grind, yeah. yeah. Like, get used to being in these trenches. You know what I'm saying? And don't let this leave your mind because, you know, at the end of the day, this joint could happen again in another six months, another year or something like that. And you never know when the next uh, catastrophe may happen that shuts down the whole world so get used to being in these trenches and then you ain't never gonna feel feel uh bad like this again that ass man you'll be conditioned for it right most definitely most i'm conditioned you know <laughs> uh, before i was a soldier i was already a soldier yeah, <laughs> you know what right. i'm saying Hell yeah i was in them trenches yeah <laughs> for real dog can a bitch nigga be converted into a real nigga and why or why not <laughs> hmm Bitch nigga be converted to a real nigga. Uh, I'm gonna have to say no because I mean, as long as as long as there's people alive that know what you done did to mm. make you a bitch nigga, you know what I'm saying? It that 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 story gonna live on forever. You know what I'm saying? But it is smart people. Like let's just say Takashi Six Nine for for example. You know what I'm saying? Snitching back in the '90s. Snitching used to be one of those no goes. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. G code was super heavy back then. 2000s shit kind of got watered down. 
now we're in the 2010s, 2020s, you know what I'm saying? Where shit is super watered down. Everybody the goat, everybody, uh, everybody real. For you know real. What I'm and it's all it's all perception now. You know what I'm saying? And Takashi just happens to have a gift, a gab, where he can control the conversation. You know what I'm saying? He hmm. knows how to he knows how to manip- manipulate a conversation in his favor. You wow. know what I'm saying? So for real. Like, so if you have if you have that gift, then it it really you know it really don't matter. But as long as there's people alive that 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 saying that, you know what I'm saying, people are gonna look at you funny. But we in an internet era, anyways, where people gonna look at you funny no matter what you do. <laughs> so, <laughs> like at the end of the day, like at you know what what really matters. You know what I'm saying? Dead ass. Out, I mean, he done came out. He gonna make money. When he hop on Instagram Live, it's gonna be the most Money's viewed live city, ever. Bro. People, people gonna want to see it. They already know that he got the gift of gab. They want to hear it. They want to be entertained. So you know, I think he, um, I think he's setting up deals right now. So when he actually do show his face, he oh, yeah. have so much backing behind him as far as sponsors and right, so much junk in place. But I'm, I believe he's setting up stuff and doing all kind of bids right now. Like, hey man, absolutely, you give me, you don't give me ten mil. We we can't talk. Right, right. He's a smart dude. Smart Dang. dude. That's crazy, bro. All right, all right, here we go. What's some other things you would like to accomplish in life before it's all said and done? Some things I want to accomplish in life. I want to be the number one fitness brand. Hmm. You know, I want to have an umbrella of of shit up underneath me. You know what I'm saying? I want to I want to feed the people with the truth and fitness. I want to give them. I want to give people life, you know what I'm saying? Speak that health into people like Dr. Seavey, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Speak life, speak prosperity into people, and just let people know that, you know, there is there is ways to get it, you know what I'm saying? Regardless of what you're going to mm-hmm. or what you're trying to get to, you know, you're going to go through every emotion, like Nip said, like when you're on the grind trying to get stuff, you mm-hmm. know, you're going to go through every emotion. And if you ain't ready to go through the trenches for whatever it is that you want, you know what I'm saying? You probably ain't going to get it. <laughs> Gee shit. Right. Gee shit. That's real. Right. Cause even or even with the brand, you know, I I have been through every single emotion. You know what I'm saying? It's it's yeah. days where I'll be like, man, I just want to quit. Like I ain't even like I ain't sign up for this. You know what I'm saying? Like I yeah. I ain't I ain't even asked for all of this. But then I look back like this is this is really what I want. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So you just keep pushing. Hey man, I'm trying to tell y'all, man, this nigga grind is on some other shit, bro. If I, I, hey, if y'all want to know what a grind is, y'all work out with this nigga. Y'all work out with this nigga and see what he puts you through. You know what yeah, they, <laughs> they don't want to. I worked. Hey, matter of fact, the the times where I I weighed the most, I was around this man. This is my roommate. You feel me? And we used to go to the gym every day, every morning, because uh, oh, yeah. we used to work around at risk kids, and uh, you know sometimes we would get into like physical battles with the kids. But he was already on the fitness shit. I was get I was getting into it. I had muscle memory, but I got into it for real with him. Right. And uh and uh I weighed the most around this man. You feel me? And I have not gained that much weight. I have not weighed the most until I have not weighed as much as I, I have weighed since 2011. Right, right. Crazy, crazy, y'all. Yeah. All right, here we go. <laughs> for real, this nigga talking about because he nigga I eat though. Right, right. Nah, but we was eating and we was and we was working. And yeah, and on the protein shake. Yeah, we was on it. Damn man, that's crazy. All right, yeah. here we go. What will make you feel like you made it? Nothing. I don't I don't think nothing. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It I don't you know, I don't I don't really see made it as really a thing because it's like man you could get a million dollar deal but then shit you know being a creative you can blow through a million like in a couple days just from feeding your dreams again Mm. you know what i'm saying uh you can make 10 million and as a creative you can go right through that you know what i'm saying so i think that um kind of to answer the question and not try to evade it is you know having having wealth set up for two or three generations after me. 
you know what I'm saying? And then having a plan set up to where, you know, my kids know how to do it. They mm-hmm. can teach their kids how to do it. Mm-hmm. And even if they don't want to do it, you know what I'm saying? They, they at least have those tools to where they can, they can teach. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, man. For real. All right, here we go. We're going to go into the pick one. All right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> you can't say, uh, you can't say. <laughs> yeah, let me drink my water for this shit. Hey, oh, no, I ain't doing that. No, oh, no, I'll I just take both. You can't say that. You got to pick one, right. bro. You already know how this is going to go. You already know how I am, bro. You already know what. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this thing got to drink his water, bro. <laughs> yeah, let me take another sip. This is some I already know it's some bullshit. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Theater, movie theater, or Netflix? Movie theater. All right. All right. Stank coochie. <laughs> oh man. This is why. Hey, y'all saw this nigga face? <laughs> hey. This nigga, this nigga whole demeanor change like. <laughs> All right. Stank coochie or stank bro. Which one you which one you taking, not throwing away? Like which one you you would rather have? I take the breath, because you can stay away from their breath. You can stay away from their breath. You can pop some mentos in that joint. You know what I'm saying? Some of them might need a root canal. You can you know what I'm saying? We, we can work on that. We can work on that. We can work on that. You said we can work on that. All right. There <laughs> <laughs> right, you go. Ass or titties? Mm. Damn. Uh, <laughs> man, I want, I, I want the ass. See, back in the day, you would have caught me 10 years ago. It would have been in titties. Nigga. Ass. I told you, it's ass now, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Okay. What made this nigga, what made you convert to ass? Nigga, I've never heard Man. nobody, I've never heard anybody convert. Nah, you might be the first nigga I know that converted. <laughs> nah, dead ass, for real. I don't Man. never know no nigga that say, oh, yeah, I love ass now. Nah. Oh, yeah, I love titties now. Nah. Like. Bro. Yeah, man, because you know what, man? Titties is just like, it's one of them things. Like, uh, like it's just, they thing. nourishing, man. You know what I'm saying? They nourish. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? You can just lay on them <laughs> joints like pillows and shit. But, you know, I found a safe haven laying on some ass, too. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. I got you, dog. I got you. Martin or Fresh Prince of Bel Air? Hmm. Damn, I got him. Yeah, I'm going to say uh, Fresh Prince. For me, like I love Martin. Martin, Martin was crazy. You know, they both had uh, Martin had some dope special guest appearances. You know, with Tommy Hearns, the Biggie, man, it was wild. But Fresh Prince for the life lessons, mm. He mm. had the swag. You know what I'm saying? He was younger. You know, and then Will Smith on top of that. So you know, I yeah, 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 that's my dude. Okay, okay, okay. Fresh Prince in the high. All right, let's go. So here we go. <laughs> I ask everybody these questions, though. So here you go. <laughs> well, not every single one, but here you go. You're running on a bridge, and you see your career and your best friend drowning. Who are you saving? <laughs> mm, my career and my best friend? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going to save my best friend. All right. <laughs> All right, we're going to move on. Hey, that's a follow-up. That's a follow-up. Everybody get the question. You run on the bridge and you see your best friend and Jesus drowning. Who you saving? Man, see, I mean, like Jesus, <laughs> that's one of them things because a, a lot of niggas call themselves Jesus nowadays. <laughs> so, like, at the end of the day, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Jesus who? They could, that might be a Mexican nigga named <laughs> Jesus. Like, you know, you know, <laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> 
Because I mean, is it the real Jesus? Do I know it's the real Jesus? You know There's a lot of questions with that. <laughs> hey, this nigga crazy. This nigga said it might be something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like fucked around and saved some Mexican nigga oh, I ain't shit. never met named Jesus. Oh, damn. This nigga tripping. This nigga tripping. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Last one, last one, last one. We done talked about this too, but I kind of forgot, but I know what your answer gonna be. <laughs> yeah. All right. If you had to choose. It was so funny is you shot the video, bro. Right. You right. Shot the, this is the this is the person who shot the video and held oh, the camera it's for what? eyes or penis, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you had to choose on, between man. your dick and your eyes, which one you letting go of? I'm letting go of my eyes. This nigga here, yeah, letting man. it go all day. What? Damn, man. Yeah, that's some other <laughs> shit to say, too. Nigga, <laughs> how you going to run your fitness and all that shit and do your designs? And <laughs> man, I can explain that shit. At nigga. the end of the day, you know what? At the end of the day, with the fitness shit, I feel like I already, already got enough work in. Like, I got work that's going to last for probably the next five years. You know what I'm saying? That, yeah. That's a template to, to everything that I want to do. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like that's going to last regardless. But, you know, at the end of the day, it ain't no good choice between that. I mean, I could, could I do without a dick? Yeah, I could. But damn, you know, that's fucked up. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> it said that shit fucked up. <laughs> All right. Hey, y'all. Hey, man. Give everybody your socials, you know what I'm saying, what you got running, what you got coming up and everything. Give everybody what you got running. Yeah. So, uh, social, uh, Facebook at Rack Runners One, Instagram at Rack Runners underscore. You know, everything I got running, I got more merch coming, more uh, workout videos, more ebooks. Got a few ebooks on the store right now, you know, to help you with all your fitness needs. Hit me up if you need anything. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, man. I appreciate you, man. Love you. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you too, bro. Hey, man. Yes, sir. You feel yes. me? Like, hey, man. Thank you for coming on the Unspoken Truth, man. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, yeah, most of all y'all, for the rest of y'all, yeah. <laughs> this is the end of the session. And once again, we are. Yes, sir. Right, be easy, bro.